Hello, I'm Dingen201 and I'm going to show you how to speed up your computer. This only works with Windows XP and Windows Vista. So, first of all, to prove it to you, I'm going to ask you to open Task Manager. So hit Control Alt Delete and open it. Wait for about 10 seconds and write down the lowest percentage you get in the CPU usage. Okay, turning off crappy Windows parts that slow down your PC. Here we're going to turn off the Automatic Updates and Security Center. Now, automatic updates and try to contact the internet constantly and get you to download these stupid updates by Microsoft. Security Center will just repeatedly pop up and tell you that you have automatic updates turned off. So now, I'm going to click on Start and then click Run. And my Start menu just doesn't show up because it's got a transparent effect and my screen camera won't do that. Okay. Type in msconfig.exe in the Run menu, and you hit OK. Once the MS configuration opens up, you go to the tab at the top that's called Services. You scroll down and find Automatic Updates and Security Center. Uncheck them. And click Apply. Click Close. Now, thing will come up. Just click Exit Without Restart. Now, part two, using CCleaner to clean cookies and your registry. For this, you're going to have to download CCleaner. And I have posted a link for this on the side. Now, once you've downloaded and installed CCleaner, you open it up by double-clicking the icon, and you go to the Cleaner tab. Here, it'll have all these temporary files. All you have to do is click Run Cleaner and wait for it to clean these cookies. Cookies are basically bits and pieces of web pages that your computer downloaded. And so they're completely useless, and this will not delete any of your files. So, you wait, and depending on how many cookies you have, it'll take a while. And once it's done, it'll tell you how much space it cleared up. And this really does speed up your PC. There we go. Now, we go to Registry tab, which is right under the Cleaner tab, and you click Scan for Issues. Now, this scans your Windows registry, and the way your Windows registry works is the more errors there are in the registry, the more chances that your computer will get hung up when it goes to those certain programs and stumbles across these errors. Each one of these errors potentially could crash your entire computer. Sometimes it finds several hundred. Depends. Now, Click Fix, click No to back up, and it will go through and fix all the issues that it found. Now, sometimes there'll be a Fix All button, because there's only one for the registry right here that's not there. Now, you can go ahead and close CCleaner. And next, Altering Windows RAM Configuration. It's not as hard as it sounds, but I won't go into the full details explaining this. But basically, what it does is it takes your RAM and reconfigures it so that the CPU is allowed to use more RAM to store processes that it's not running, which basically means you can run multiple programs without slowing down your computer. Now, go to Start and find Notepad. And I'm just searching for it, but it's right there. It should be there. Okay, you're going to go into Notepad and you're going to type in my string equals. That's M Y S T R I N G equals, and then open parentheses eight zero. And we're going to type in six more zeros after this. So you end up with eight and then seven zeros, then close parentheses. Now, go to File and click Save As. And in the little dialog box, change Save as Type All Files, and then type in the file name RAM.VBS. Make sure you change it to All Files, and then click Desktop, and save it to your desktop. RAM.VBS, All Files, click Save. Then exit Notepad, and a file named RAM should be right on your desktop. All you have to do is double-click it to run it, and it's done. Now, restart your computer and hit Control-Alt-Delete again 
wait 10 seconds and write down the lowest percentage you saw. It should be lower than what you first wrote down, and your computer should be running a lot faster. Now, if a little thing comes up saying you used the msconfig thing to change some settings, click don't start msconfig, and just click OK. It should leave you alone. And that aside, have fun.